36 hole leader Ches Reeve. All pars to this point, playing the par 5 sixth here at the Barracuda Championship. Billy Ray with this last group. Well, thank you, Bob. 234 front for Reeve here at the par 5. 247 total. Great line here. Certainly is there, Billy Ray. Underneath the Man. hole, should stay there. Putt predominantly back uphill the entire length of the putt. He was working on the range today. So he's been really hitting the ball well from direction of right to left. Solely going to try to stick with that ball flight throughout the day, he said. Yeah, that was a real slow putt there, Billy Ray, up the hill. Big breaker right to left. Chess Reeve has this left for Birdie. Cars up to this point now, just to gain two points for Reeve. He's one of the players here that a lot of bombers in the up at top of the leaderboard, but he's a more of a controlled player. It was a really nice second shot he hit in there underneath the hole with a, a hybrid over the penalty area, so gets him on the board for the day. Only six birdies made on this hole today at 150 yards. Just a wedge shot. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> one of the best shots of the day. Yeah, just you see the tempo in which he plays. Just absolutely under control. There we go. There you go, right there. Back to back birdies for our leader, Ches Reeve. And Ches Reeve, same club, just get it in position. You have to be really careful. Even though you're laying up here, you have water down the right hand side and you must hit the fairway. You already referenced the whole location trip. You, you want to be in the fairway to spin the ball. And those two tee shots are going to rest right next to each other. Now, Reeve, much better lie, Billy Ray? And much better lie. We're both having the same yardage, 115. I, I would suspect here a little better shot here from Reeve. Yeah, this would be right in the wheelhouse. I think this is just a nice solid gap wedge for him. Oh, yeah. And there's the difference there. Billy Ray, it's about time he capitalized on one of these good opportunities. He's had a number of them the last several years. Yeah, holes. Bob referenced that. I mean, there's going to be a point in time where he's, uh, he can't be stuck in neutral. This is a golden opportunity putting back up the hill. Yeah, he's got a lot of. There you go. You know, birdie opportunities in front of him, 12, and he's got 16, 18 playing tougher today, but Ches Reeve distances himself out in front by seven points. Just kind of plodding along. Now Reeve, you would expect this ball if he hits it on the button. He's probably, in my opinion, going to probably be a good 30 yards behind the tee shot of Mark Hubbard. Fourth on tour and driving accuracy. At the top of the show, he's he's not going to overpower this golf course. How about, how about very wrong. precise? How about that? He hey. drove it up there with Hubbard. Wow! Chased it right up there. Lord. A little breeze back into their face, and also if you get it right out of the hole, there is enough slope there where the ball will funnel back to the left. See if he takes it on. He's taking direct line. Really nice golf shot. Might right move there. a little left now off that slope. You know, when he gets the ball in the fairway, he is very high on the PGA Tour in proximity to the hole. He's in the top 20. So he can dial those irons in. Really quick. Big swinger from right to left. And opportunity miss there. And a chance to widen that lead. He could have pushed the lead to seven points. Had that opportunity at eight. Had it just in front of the green with his tee shot. Didn't get a come away with birdie and another one there. Only player in the field that has not made a bogey this week. Well, one thing you won't see though from Reedy, tendency not to get impatient. He will just take what the golf course gives him. Yeah, if he just misses that right bunker, Billy Ray, there's a speed slide over there. And with his ball flight, Kind of lower and chasing and it does. It didn't go. It almost had he's almost like had both hands on the wheel there trying to steer it down the center of the fairway. Oh, right of it. Pass is great too. 
Well, you saw the head cover come off here. He's got 248 total. Uh, he's looking right there at 227. We're getting to the front. He sits on top of the hill. You have to work this ball just a little bit from left to right. Those trees on the right hand side coming to view from the players about 100 yards short of the green. Starts it to the left right at that left bunker and trying to cut it. He like the look of it. Except it's left on the downslope out of the rough. That will test him. Popping it up in the air. It continues on. Very unpredictable coming out of that rough. Revy for birdie. Yeah, this putt will break from left to right as the back side of the green runs away from me. Is it enough? How about that? Played the percentage shot after short side himself and cashes in there. Gets two more points. Looks really great up and down. I would say. He, he, right now, he to the house, he's looking to separate himself by as much as possible. No problem to bunker up the right hand side carrying. Just been right. now that he's driving the ball and chases out. I think. Perfect tee shot. Chaz, now he's got a total different look than what we saw from Hubbard. He's more up the left center of the fairway, so he can take the direct line at the flag and not be concerned about the penalty area from 119. Oh, almost flew it in the hole, guys. It, it could come back in. Yeah, you said it right there, Billy Ray. He had a better angle, had a good number. <laughs> it's confident. Five iron. Go. Oh, solid contact. It's straight up Go. in the air. The wind has got it. Oh, boy. And okay, it catches hard. that bunker on the left. Yeah, it got into the flat, but it is a difficult bunker <sighs> shot. Yeah, so you have to go up right a slope. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's tough to get that one close. And Chaz Reevy now with a difficult bunker shot. Yeah, he's had some option here. Chose Sandwich out of the bunker. Oh, Just boy. gets it on top of that ridge. Well, only player yet to make a bogey, so uh, that's still in play here. It's also 10 for 10. Scrambling this this week. No, not, not anymore. Now. No. Well, you know, birdie bogey like we talk about. I mean, she's still ahead of the game. Oh yeah. I'm not sure Ches can actually carry it over that right bunker. Possible. He's third this week in driving accuracy. Well, the way Fourth he's on tour all year. And what he's driven today, John. No bunkers in play because he's just piped it down the center most every time. That's get the cut just a little. Bunker. Got by that bunker. Uh -oh. It's a green better too. All right, John, what I was going to say was that if he chooses to play through the air and try to land the ball on the green directly at the hole, I just can't imagine this ball staying on the green. That brings in the back bunker, which is not that bad of a play. Yeah, or left bunker would be better than right bunker. Now it's just going to depend on the lie. He's got he's got a lot of room to work with. A lot that of was interesting. Some of that wispy grass caught the hosel of his club and turned the face over. That's why it went so far to the left. Yeah. Ball below his feet, a little bit on the upslope. It has a plenty of plenty of green to work with. Just want to dump it out and let it run back there. Does a nice job of that. Kept his speed up. Ches Reevy went 50 straight holes without making a bogey until he made bogey at 15. He's got this putt to avoid bogeying two of his last four. And the way he pulled the putt back at 17 would indicate he's stroking it very well, but um, the way this green is tough to make putts, and you look at this putt as well, John, that, that, that's, it would look like it might try to go back just to the left a little bit here. Yeah, that's exactly right. It would. To move towards the back of the green just a little bit. He's got it set up on that left edge. Got it perfectly. So wrapping up the day, nine points for Ches Reevy as he'll have 37 in total.
heading into Sunday's final round action. And if he can hang on, it'll be win number three of his career. And a nice opportunity to see if he can jump out to a quick start and maintain that position at the top. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.